Good evening, I'm Carol Ann Riddell. Sue is off. The courtroom was packed when the tables were turned. The celebrity who says John Jr. Gotti ordered a hit on him testified today about the morning he thought he was going to die. The Guardian Angels founder Curtis Lee was soon felt like he was on trial. John Noel is live in Lower Manhattan right now to tell, tell us what the jury heard. John? Chuck, Curtis Slewa, the founder of the Guardian Angel, says he's been waiting 13 years to confront John Jr. Gotti in a courtroom. But it didn't take long for Gotti's attorney to make Slewa feel like he was the defendant. In uniform and accompanied by a phalanx of red beret wearing Guardian Angels, Curtis Slewa, founder of the volunteer crime fighting organization, arrived at federal court in Lower Manhattan, ready to face off with the man he says tried to have him bumped on. Oh, I'm not uh, nervous. I've faced down guys like this in the neighborhood I grew up since I was just a young little whippersnapper. So whether it's uh, a head of organized crime, a local drug dealer, gangbanger, doesn't matter to me. It doesn't put any Kool-Aid in my veins or arteries. John Jr. Gotti is on trial, charged with, among other things, ordering two of his henchmen to go after Sliwa in retaliation for the talk show host bad-mouthing his father, reputed mob boss John Gotti Sr., on the air. Sliwa testified that on the morning of June 19, 1992, he got into a cab near his apartment on the Lower East Side, and after hearing a rustling sound coming from under the dashboard next to the driver, some guy popped up like a jack-in-the-box. Sliwa said the masked man, armed with a silver-plated revolver, yelled, Take this, you son of a bee, and then, bam, he fired a shot. Sliwa was shot in the stomach and both legs before he managed to jump out of the window of the cab. Sliwa has always maintained Junior Gotti ordered the shooting, but under cross-examination, Gotti's attorney attempted to paint Sliwa as a man who would lie to bring attention to himself and his organization forcing Sliwa to admit he had lied on at least six occasions about guardian angel exploits, including the foiling of a rape, rescuing someone who had fallen on subway tracks, and his kidnapping at the hands of police officers. Sliwa's partner on WABC Radio called the cross-examination painful. Unfortunately and painfully, uh, he has to relive every lie, every fabrication, every falsehood, every hoax on the witness stand. And, uh, Mr. Gotti's defense lawyer, Jeff Lickman, is doing a very good job of feeding Curtis every single fabricated story, every lie, every falsehood that he's ever told. And it's been a very long meal so far on a very well-set, well-prepared table. Also, under a while on the witness stand, Sliwa testified that he was unable to identify either the driver of the cab or the man with the gun after being shown a number of photos. Reporting live from Lower Manhattan, John Noel, News Channel 4.